On the forums, we got a question about the protagonist of the games and how I come up with that and, and if it's um, flexible and if, if um, it's something that I'm open to changing. And I, I think for me, the protagonist is an integral part of the, the story, of the mood, and uh, of what we're creating. So, um, I don't think it's something that that is really something that I really want to focus test or or change or um, you know I'm very open to changing it, it, because I think to me when you're building a story or or uh, a, a mood piece it, it's about the the character and so um, if you don't have a clear idea of the character, and I, I think it's hard to build the rest of the the narrative. So, uh, if if you, um, I think watch this talk uh, Tim Schafer did. I don't know if it's a talk, but basically he was talking about Psychonauts and how he wrote Psychonauts. And one of the things he was saying is that um, you know he built this uh, like little facebook pages for all the characters so they who they like who they don't like who they're friends with and what uh what their interests are things like that and that really helped him uh write the game because he knew the characters um and i think that's really important and the the other thing he said uh is that that it's important that the protagonist is someone uh that that people want to play as, that sort of uh, wish fulfillment, because I think he was saying that the, the, the protagonist of Psychonauts was originally like a schizophrenic ostrich or something, which which isn't as appealing. Um, so for our next game, uh, I'm honestly a bit worried about the reception of the protagonist of the game, because it, at first glance, uh, our character doesn't seem like someone you'd, you'd, like, fantasize about playing. It's, it's not, you know, wish fulfillment. And certainly, uh, you know, Thomas, a, a horrible asthmatic in his jammies that, uh, you know, was almost like an empty shell, uh, probably didn't strike anyone as, like, yay, this is the best protagonist ever, but I think, um, our, our new protagonist may be, somewhat controversial, uh, or, um, you know, some people may not respond well, uh, to it, and, um, it's kind of scary, but to me, again, that there's an experience I'm trying to build. There's, um, a lot of things that are dependent on this character, and if I change uh, them, then I think the game loses its meaning, uh, because, uh, so much of it is built around the, the experience of the main character. So, like, with our, our, our next game, we're going to be even more focused on the story, because if you look at, at NeverEnding Nightmares, uh, you know, Thomas was meant to be a shell and a symbol. Uh, he was meant to be sort of void of personality and character, just this, um, you know, mannequin sort of person thing, you know, stumbling through this horrific nightmare. Um, but, uh, I think we, with, uh, our next game, it's more character focused. It's, it's about the experience of a character, and if we were to change uh, aspects of, of that character, then I think it would ruin several important things about the game and, and uh, what we're trying to say. And I think with the game, we're, we're making a, a, um, a statement um, and, and we're trying to say something interesting. And um, so I think the, 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 the character is important for the, the messages of the game, uh, and even though the character may not be uh, someone that you're excited to play as, um, but I'm hoping, uh, people will, will give me the, the benefit of the doubt, or, or if they're not, you know, super comfortable with the character, they might, you know, still give the game a try, um, 
and and play it for the the horror maybe instead of the the story um so i guess to me that again the the character is so integral to what we're doing uh for for a a story based uh game that i don't think it's something that we can focus test or change um because then then we'd be creating a fundamentally different game and and a game that uh i personally would be less excited uh about wor working on and and I, I hope it doesn't sound like I'm, I'm bashing our game. I, I'm super excited. I think we're, we're doing really great work, and I think the, the game is important, and, and uh, you know, the, the choice of character is, is very interesting and compelling, but, you know, because it's, it's different and, and uh, you know, not what people are used to, I'm, of course... Um, worried that that uh, the response might not all be positive, um, but we're we're going to try and weather the storm if there is one, and, and hopefully everyone will be you know accepting and interested in in sort of a new variety of of gaming experiences, but. Um, just in terms of development, you know, there was definitely hesitation uh, in, of going down the path that we're going on um, because of, you know, worried about perceived response. Um, but we're, um, you know, we wanted to do it anyway because we think it's, you know, interesting and, and the game is going to be really compelling and... Um, uh, I'm I'm very happy with how it turned out. So um, <laughs> I guess the answer is no. I'm sort of adamant, uh, you know, that our protagonist should be a certain way because of its uh, importance to the story, the mood, the what we're trying to create. I don't, you know, for 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 like say, say we're creating an action platformer or something, right? Then the character could be easily swapped out. Um, you know, the character of Rick Rocket was nothing, right? He was a little head that rotated. Uh, and I mean, for a while, we didn't even have a, a ship. And, and, and we tried to give him sort of a Zap Brannigan personality if you read the text. But I mean, you know, arguably he was a nothing, right? He, you know, he was a couple polygons that, that rotated. Um, but, you know, for a game that's all about the atmosphere, about the story, the, the player character is very important, and um, it's, it'd be difficult to change uh, that without losing a lot of the aspects that make our game what it is, if that makes any sense. Anyway, thanks for watching.